Hey, we're gonna do a little quick sound check on the Sony XG500. See how this uh, bad boy sounds. So let's get right to it. So before we start rolling here, I just put the XB43 so you can get an idea of the size difference between the XB43 and the XG500. As you can see, there is a pretty good size difference in the two and the XB43 is pretty big on its own. So I'll go ahead and take that out of there. Just thought you guys might want to take a look at that. Now, this speaker, I'm gonna run this through the app at first to give you an idea. And it's in the mega bass mode right now. Now to do the custom EQ, you have to disable the mega bass which in my opinion kind of stinks so in other words if you got mega bass on you can't use the custom eq i don't know if you can see that or not but it's no i don't think you can but anyway the custom eq is grayed out where you can't use it so right now i'm in the mega bass mode and there is also a stamina mode which sucks as usual this thing sound, the sound signature on this thing is pretty close to what the XB43 is, just on a bigger scale. It's got better bass, it's louder. The sound in the mids and highs is very similar. It has a kind of a little bit of a recessed highs where they're kind of a little bit, I don't know, you, you could you basically call them, they're warm, it's a warm sound, a lot, not a lot of detail or uh, definition in the highs. That just seems to be how Sony likes to roll their speakers. I'm not sure why, but luckily there is the custom EQ where you can mess with that. But this is in sound effect mode, mega bass right now. Let's play in. And that is 40%. It's got a lot of bass. Not a lot of detail in the upper range. I've seen some people say this thing sounds a little flat. It does kind of sound a little flat. Change tracks. In mega bass mode, it's definitely got some bass. I'll go up to 60%. The scale of the volume is a little more even than it is with like the XB43 and 33 that they're not very loud until you get close to the 80, like 80% 80 and up. This is a little more even. I mean, that's 60%, that's pretty loud. Definitely has bass. You can tell there's not the greatest amount of detail in the upper range. Now, I'm going to show you, I'm playing this through Jet Audio Player, I'm going to change the EQ from there. Basically raised up the treble and some of the mids. Has a little bit brighter, a little bit more detail in the upper range. Still not like bright, but it, it kind of enhances it to me. Back to flat. You lose some of that upper range. Let's go up to 80%. From the Jet Audio Player, again. Increase the treble. Let's go up to 100%. Go back to 
flat. That's flat. Treble boost, EQ. Okay, I'm gonna go back to flat. Now I'm going to go to the Sony app and I'm going to take it off of Mega Bass and onto custom. So when you do custom EQ, it takes, you can't use Mega Bass and custom EQ, which that's what stinks using the Sony app. Whereas if you're using the third party EQ, you can leave the Mega Bass on and then adjust it how you want. So this is to custom EQ. And actually the custom EQ that I'm using, still not sure you can see that. I don't know, you can't see it, but it's basically I've got the treble, the bass at 10, the mids at eight, and the treble at 10. So basically it's almost everything raised to the max within the three band EQ on the Sony app, other than the mids is at eight. Still to me within that, it doesn't sound as good as when I use the Jet Audio EQ. Now there is also a stamina mode, but it just zaps out the bass. This is Clear Audio, which is like a recommended Clear Audio Plus. Here we go. That's Clear Audio Plus. You see it just, you just lose the, you lose the, uh, the, the detail and clarity. So anyway, that's a quick look, or maybe not so quick, <laughs> of the sound, the sound check, if you will. This speaker at 450 is the normal retail price on that. Man, that to me, that is crazy. I mean, for the XG500, 450. Same, well, and same thing with the basically with the JBL boombox 2 it's 500 bucks I think these are grossly overpriced just my opinion I mean until they raised the price recently you could get you could have got a, a JBL party box 110 for 350 to think that this thing is a hundred bucks more than that's kind of insane of course it is more mobile more portable than the party box but man 450 no way now these things if you catch one they got them refurbished for less than half of that and that's how I got mine so in my opinion if you're gonna get one it's a pretty good speaker it's loud it's got good bass if you use a third car third party EQ you can make it sound better out of the box the mids and highs aren't the greatest but it can be fixed so anyway that's just a audio sample if you will of what the speaker can do if you get if you get this refurb for 200 or less i think it's a good buy but 450 yo love you must be kidding thanks for watching like and subscribe we'll catch you at the next one have a good one